ladies and gentlemen, we have some bad news. Ah! All right, little buddy. <laughs> your dad might have to decide to come. Huh? All, right. All, right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Look at this. Oh, you. <laughs> what the fuck? He porked up. He porked Bro, up, everybody. Your feet. <laughs> everybody. Uh, it's a it's a sad day out here. Yesterday, I was cleaning my car and uh, I ri I ripped it. I ripped it. Put an F in the chat for the seat. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that's just a good reason to get a uh, racing seat sometime. Oh yeah, today, 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 uh, oh, shit. we're making my new exhaust left. <laughs> <laughs> we're making the new exhaust less bunk today. We're unbunkifying that. Okay. And we're doing a couple of things to Lucas's car. Well, we'll see you later. We're taking the Yeehaw truck. So part of the thing we're doing today is we're getting Lucas's wheels back out from storage that we can put them back on his car because um, the winter's over and the, got new the ugly ass stock boys are coming off. Hell yeah. So let's and go do that. We're back. All right guys, so we're back and we're here to make the exhaust less bunk. So I don't know if you remember when we installed it, I used those uh, zip ties. Eh, not a great idea. But anyway, we're gonna put it on with the, an exhaust hanger this time. So this really doesn't fit quite right, so we're gonna try to drill through the top and hopefully you kind of jerry-rig something that's more of a permanent solution than the zip ties. The zip ties are currently working for the record. It doesn't fit quite right because this is a 350 exhaust and uh, this is obviously a G35, so that's why we're gonna have to try to jerry-rig something in order to make it fit properly. This is not a permanent solution, the permanent exhaust I want on my car, but right now, I gotta make something work. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the zip ties off and then we're gonna line up this one with where the flange and the, not the flange, the two little hangers meet. And uh, then we're gonna drill this and hopefully we'll debunkify this exhaust. It's a dark one. I can't even see it. We need to cut right here and then mount this bad boy in there. All right, so our goal is to put a little hole about right here. That way the hanger can go this way because this has both hangers going the same direction and they're actually perpendicular to each other. And like that, the exhaust is pretty much done. Now with Lucas, uh, we had to drill it out with the hole because well, obviously we had to drill it out. We had to just keep bigger and bigger bits because it was not wanting to fit on there and we made a lot of... That's all part of the hanger. All right, so now we're all done. We're gonna take this outside, get Lucas' wheels, put those on his car. That way he's looking fresh for her. When he goes back, well, let's get to that. Every time I get in my car, I'm reminded about that night. Put an F in the chat. So we put that exhaust hanger in right there. This is an aftermarket one, so I didn't come with the car because otherwise it wouldn't fit properly. So we uh, drilled in up here and drilled that hole. Oh, this one. We drilled it in perfectly here to the exhaust hanger. We put that one in. And then we're going to go get some metal zip ties just to be safe. That way it doesn't come off. All right, so these are the metal zip ties I picked up from Harbor Freight. Yeah, they're cheap, but like Harbor Freight stuff can be very usable. Not quality, but usable. So you got this uh, 25 piece, this PC, that means tries. So you get 25 tries to get this right. One try. So finally, about after two months after installing exhaust, it is now done and complete and permanent for now until something maybe else comes down the road. Anyway, so next we're gonna get Lucas's car in here and uh, we're gonna take off his ugly ass stock wheels and put, <laughs> and put on his uh, nice black ones that I don't know what they are, but if you want to know. Give me a hot boy rev, pussy. What? I said give me one of those hot boy revs. This is how broke boys clean their wheels. Starting shit over there? Broke boy. <laughs> uh, coming in nicely. There's a little before picture of Lucas on his stock wheels, and then... You're good. You're good. You're good. Moving behind the rocks! Keep going! You're good! You're good! You're good! And stop! Nice fit, man, bro. Alright guys, we just kind of finished up putting these wheels on. These are Lucas's summer wheels. They're pretty... They're pretty cool and a lot better than his stock little boys. So let me get Lucas and uh, tell you what these guys are. Okay, these are uh, the BMR V804s. They're finished in like gloss black. And then 
For the new tires, since the old ones were uh, pretty bald, we put uh, hand cooked Ventus V12 Evo to some 50 more words in the dictionary yep. or something. But uh, yeah, 275 in the rear, 245 in the front, 40 sidewall. So yeah. Hell yeah. Should be a pretty. It, heck, when the car moves, it usually drops, so yeah. it's kind of walking. Whack. It'll drop a little bit, yeah. and Lucas doesn't plan on just being on stock hype forever either. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around with us today. I'm gonna get some glamour shots of uh, Lucas's wheels real quick, and then we're gonna wrap it up for today. I know I just kind of put whatever we could find together, but thanks for sticking with us, and we'll see you next time. Also, uh, we should have a lot more videos coming, especially with summer coming around, because uh, I know winter kind of sucks. We both are in school. After that, we have a lot of events coming, and uh, some cool car parts coming too. Then we'll find out.